Coco, did you know that humans aren't the only species that use language? Bees communicate by dancing. Whales talk to each other by singing. And some apes talk to humans by using American Sign Language. Meet Coco, a female gorilla born at the San Francisco Zoo on July 4, 1971. Coco learned Sign Language from her trainer, Dr. Penny Patterson. Patterson began teaching Sign Language to Coco in 1972, when Coco was one year old. Coco must have been a good student because two years later she moved on to the Stanford University campus with Dr. Patterson. Coco continued to learn on the campus until 1976. That's when she began living full-time with Patterson's group, the Gorilla Foundation. Patterson and Coco's relationship has blossomed ever since. Dr. Patterson says that Coco has mastered sign language. She says that Coco knows over 1,000 words, and that Coco makes up new words. For example, Coco didn't know the sign for ring, so she signed the words finger and bracelet. Dr. Patterson thinks that this shows meaningful and constructive use of language. Not everyone agrees with Dr. Patterson. Some argue that apes like Coco do not understand the meaning of what they are doing. Skeptics say that these apes are just performing complex tricks. For example, if Coco points to an apple and signs red or apple, Dr. Patterson will give her an apple. They argue that Coco does not really know what the sign apple means. She only knows that that if she makes the right motion, one which Dr. Patterson has shown her, then she gets an apple. The debate is unresolved, but one thing is for certain, Coco is an extraordinary ape. Sign language isn't the only unusual thing about Coco. She's also been a pet owner. In 1983, at the age of 12, researchers said that Coco asked for a cat for Christmas. They gave Coco a stuffed cat. Coco was not happy. She did not play with it, and she continued to sign sad. So for her birthday in 1984, they let her pick a cat out of an abandoned leader. Coco picked a gray cat and named him, All Ball. Dr. Patterson said that Coco loved and nurtured All Ball as though he were a baby gorilla. Sadly, all Ball got out of Coco's cage and was hit by a car. Patterson reported that Coco signed, bad, sad, bad, and, frown, cry, frown, sad, when she broke the news to her. It seems like Patterson and Coco have a good relationship, but not everyone agrees with it. Some critics believe that Patterson is humanizing the ape. They believe that apes should be left in the most natural state possible. Even Dr. Patterson struggles with these feelings. When asked if her findings could be duplicated by another group of scientists, she said, we don't think that it would be ethical to do again. She went on to argue that animals should not be kept in such unnatural circumstances. Nonetheless, Coco lives in her foundation today. As for the future, Dr. Patterson and the Gorilla Foundation would love to get Coco to an ape preserve in Maui, but they are having trouble securing the land. So unless you have a few million dollars to spare, Coco's going to be spending her time in Woodland, California with Dr. Patterson. Coco probably doesn't mind that. If she moved to Hawaii, She'd have to give up her Facebook page and Twitter feed, and she's got like 50,000 likes. Some may deny that she knows sign language, but nobody says that she doesn't know social networking.